Welcome back to another episode of Off Night Radio. I am your host, Mato. You guys know why we're here. Getting to this week three NFL action, my week three NFL picks. But first, we got to talk about some other stuff. Let's get into my hugehealthtips.com sports headlines. Be healthy, be informed. The Panthers took care of business against the Houston Texans 24-9 on Thursday night football. Um, unfortunately, also on Thursday night football, running back Christian McCaffrey will undergo an MRI for a hamstring injury. Um, that he suffered in that game with the, against the Panthers and the Texans. Hopefully he's okay with that. I know a lot of fantasy people were pissed, big pissed, that uh, Christian McCaffrey went down. Um, let's get to some baseball. The White Sox have clinched the AL Central for the first time since 2008. That's 13 years, people. And let's get into some boxing. Khalid Plant and Canelo trade actually traded punches at the conference uh, to sell the fight. And um, it looked pretty heated. Um, Canelo actually dipped the... You know, in plain clothes, he actually dipped the jab. But yeah, so that that they're, they're, that that fight is is steaming up to be a good one. Um, they're building up a story behind it, so it seems like a must-watch fight when it does take place. And last but not least, John Jones, UFC John Jones, has uh, suffered a misdemeanor battery, domestic violence case in Las Vegas. Um, details are still emerging, and um, I hope the best for John Jones going forward. I'll be right back with my main topics right after this message. This episode is being brought to you by CBDMD. CBDMD provides THC-free, gluten-free, vegan, and non-GMO CBD oil products. CBD CBD believes in providing high-quality CBD at an affordable price. Go to CBDMD.com, use the promo code MOTTO to get 15% off your order. All right, time to get into my main topics, man. Oh, we got to talk about it, man. Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is basically saying, don't call me, I'll call you, dog. He's saying, you know, I'm done. You know, it's almost like a breakup, meaning the Sixers and Ben Simmons. It's like a bad breakup. Ben Simmons doesn't want to talk to him. He doesn't want to see him. Uh, I think Joel and B, Matthias Diabo, um, Tobias Harris, were going to get on a jet and fly to Los Angeles, and they were informed to, no, do not get on the jet. I do not want to talk to you. I do not want to... Um, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Um, call me when I get traded. He said that against some um, Sixers officials, executives, were going to fly to Los Angeles. They were told, do not do that. Do not waste your time. I do not want to come play, play for Philadelphia. Call me when I'm traded. Um, so I think it's, it's clear what Ben Simmons wants. He wants to be traded. Now, I don't, I, the problem is trading Ben Simmons is a bit, um, it's a bit dicey, right? Because... One, the money has to make sense, right? He has four years left on his contract um, of a, a max deal. So it, the money has to add up, right? The Sixers would would at least want an all-star player back in return. Um, I don't think they want a bunch of draft picks. They're not rebuilding. They are one of the most elite teams in the Eastern Conference. So they don't really want draft picks um, in, in exchange. And also the money has to add up. So now you have to think about this. John Wall is out there actively wanting to be traded. The money would match up there. He makes close to about forty something million dollars per year, and the money would the money would make sense. He's max. He's Ben Simmons is max. John Wall is max. He wants to leave. John Wall would be the point guard um, for the Philadelphia 76ers. Ben Simmons would be uh, the, the 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 main attraction on a rebuilding Houston Rockets team. Now I will, I will ask Ben Simmons this: Does he want to have? Do he want to be on a re- rebuilding? team because the only teams that are interested in them are teams that are rebuilding or team or nine playoff teams those teams are that could be the Houston Rockets with John Wall John Wall wants to come to Philadelphia I don't know if Houston can make that happen or not the Cleveland uh Cleveland Cavaliers are super interested in Ben Simmons um another rebuilding team nice uh, solid young core but again rebuilding the Minnesota Timberwolves are also h- highly 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 interested in him and all three of those teams outside of John Wall all three of those teams the Sixers may or may they're not going to get an all-star in exchange and Carl Anthony Towns wouldn't be would be a a, a spacing nightmare with Embiid and Carl Anthony Towns so I don't think the Sixers want Carl Anthony Towns um for Ben Simmons so unless Ben Simmons is actually really really ready to um you know be on a non-contending team um I would, I would just, you know, yeah, I would, yeah, I, I guess his, his, what he's saying is he's not gonna come back to the Sixers as long as he's fine with that. If he's fine with not playing for a contender in the near future, at least, or at least in the next few seasons, then fine. 
Um, give him what he want. Trade him. Trade him to one of these franchises. Get whatever you can get from him, and then you move on. Um, preseason's about to start for the uh, NBA in the next few weeks or next few months or so. So it's it's time to nip this in the bud. Don't I don't. Ben Simmons is being. I'm being told that Ben Simmons is willing to sit out the rest of the season if he has to. He'll sacrifice the money if he has to. Now, I don't know about sacrificing the money because he just bought a twenty million dollar mansion in Los Angeles. So I don't know. You know, I don't know um, how the money thing would play out. But this is this is at least this is what he said. The man said he's willing to sit out the entire season. He he does not want to play. He does not want to put a Philadelphia Seventy Sixers uniform on again. So we'll see how this Ben Simmons things play out, but. Um, you know, the options are slim for Ben Simmons to possibly be traded. There's not really many suitors, uh, at least that are contenders, that he can go to. I know people think about the Golden State, but the Sixers want probably want Klay Thompson in return for, for uh, Ben Simmons. So I don't know if the Warriors are willing to do that. So, But we'll see. More NBA news. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyrie Irving and Andrew Wiggins are not vaccinated. And they play, and those two players, and to highlight those two players, there are probably many other players that are not vaccinated. But to highlight those two players is because they play for teams that live in cities or states that require uh, you to be vaccinated in order to attend the arena. In order to attend the arena with that with that many people, with that side, that amount of people, right? So, state of, state of San Francisco, where the Warriors play, say that uh, in order for a large event like that, they require people to be vaccinated. And if not, Andrew Wiggins would would at least have to miss 41 home games, at the minimum. Now, that also exists in New York. And Kyrie, I believe Kyrie is refusing to get the vaccine, so he is looking at being not being able to play for 41 games. Actually, more than that, because he wouldn't be able to play in San Francisco. He wouldn't be able to play against the Knicks in New York, who they play, I believe, twice, if I'm not mistaken. So he'll miss close to... 45, 40, you know, about 45 games, almost more than half the season. And uh, there were some rumblings out there that the Brooklyn Nets were interested in trading Kyrie Irving for Ben Simmons. And Kyrie, and Kevin Durant vetoed that. He said, nope, he told the organization, do not trade Kyrie Irving or we're going to have a problem because I'm the star player. And there's like, you, you guys, they're going to have a problem if they traded Kyrie Irving for Ben Simmons. Now, I look at it like this. I think Andrew Wiggins and Kyrie Irving got to get it together. Here's your options. This is it's pretty much this simple. The city that you guys play in have a mandate for you guys to be vaccinated in order to play in that arena with that many people, right? If you don't, you can't play the home games. That means you're giving up on your teammates. You're going to give up half the season, more than half the season, because you refuse to get vaccinated. If you're fine with that, if you're fine with giving back the money as well, if you're fine with that, then I have no problem with it. But Andrew Wiggins and Kyrie Irving better not come out and, you know, play victim and do all this. The rules are simple. The rules are set. This is not the NBA. This is this this is the states that they play in telling 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 you guys that you no, know, this is if you want to have a season here, if you want to play, this is what you have to go through. This is what you have to do. And I, I think it's fair. I think it's fair um, that they're giving these guys fair and clear warning, and um, you know, I just I think the the non vaxxers I've always stated this. I think non vaxxers are being a bit ridiculous because they want to be unvaccinated, yet they want to go run around and do everything that everybody else is doing. They want to be in large crowds. They want to not wear a mask. They want to they want to do everything. So, and you know, in the middle of a pandemic, you cannot do that. You cannot have both ways. If you want to be unvaccinated. You should probably stay away from large groups of people for your own safety or for their safety, for safety, period. You should stay away from large groups of people. There should be no argument. You should be fine with that if you clearly want to be unva- stay un- remain un- unvaccinated. Now, if you want to remain unvaccinated and you still want to play home games, I don't think it's going to work that way. I think um, Andrew Wiggins and Kyrie Irving really need to make a real, real executive decision. And I think Andrew Wiggins is going to get traded, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think... Um, Kyrie may have some, um, you know, have Kevin Durant um, in his back pocket as his as his support system or his moral support, at least to not trade him. I, I believe that um, I believe that um, Andrew Wiggins could possibly be traded. Kyrie Irving, it looks like he might go all the way to the rim. Kyrie Irving may play, may miss all of the home games, including the games against New York, including the game, the, the away game against San Francisco or against the Golden State Warriors. So. 
It's going to get interesting, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to get really, really, really interesting to see what happens. Um, let's get into some football. Um, people were asking me how to feel about my Jets. <laughs> Zach Wilson threw four interceptions. Oh, my God. Look, one game, Bill Belichick clearly had a game plan. It worked. And, uh, you know, what? he had his welcome to the NFL moment. Um, I think Zach Wilson will be fine. And um, in weeks to come, I think Zach Wilson will be um, – he'll get things together. I truly, truly believe that. Um, another NFL topic I want to get into before I get into my NFL Week 3, my 2021 NFL Week 3 picks. I think the Rams are the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. I think the Rams right now, as standing right now, and I, I don't even think we've seen the best of the Rams so far. Standing right here, right now, I think the Rams are the favorites to be in the Super Bowl this year at SoFi Stadium, at their home stadium. I really, really do think that. I think they, they have everything that you need on defense. Again, if they remain healthy, I think Matthew Stafford is the real deal. I think what they have at running back um, is good enough. I believe in their offensive line. I like the collection of receivers they have. <clears throat> I, I, I just think they're they're the real deal. The Rams are the real deal. They're my favorite. They're my favorite to be in the Super Bowl, probably against the Chiefs. But um, yeah, I don't. I and we, we're going to see. We're going to see when they go up against the defending champs, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But yeah, I think that the Rams are the real deal. I think Matt, this Matthew Stafford trade is going to go down in history. Um. Because nobody cares what Matthew Stafford does in the regular season. He's thrown for all his touchdowns, 4,000 yards, 5,000 yards. Nobody cares. It's what he does in the playoffs is what people are going to judge him from. And with this team around him, this is not the Detroit Lions um, team that uh, Stafford has been around. This team is legit. This is a legit team, with, and they have a real quarterback in Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford is elite. I mean, you got to start saying that with him, and you got to wipe that de- that Detroit sm- uh, fog off of him. And um, yes, this he is the real deal, the real deal. I'll get back into my NFL Week Three NFL picks after these messages from my sponsor. It's important to separate your business account from your personal account, and the best way to do that is with Bank Novo. Bank Novo has no hidden fees, no monthly fees, easy to use mobile app, refund on all ATM fees, and then I mentioned free, free business checking account, and much more. Apply for your free business checking account in just under 10 minutes. Click on the link in the description and get your free business checking account today. Time to get into my week three picks. Let's get right into it. I got the Browns over the Bears. I got the Arizona Cardinals over the Jags. I got the Kansas City Chiefs over the Chargers. I got the Bills over Washington football team. I got the Colts over the Titans in an upset. I got the Steelers over the Bengals. I don't care who's playing quarterback. I got the Saints over the Patriots. I got the Giants over the Falcons. Falcons look terrible. I have the Ravens over the Lions. I have the Raiders to go 3-0 and over the Dolphins. I got my Jets, my New York Jets, over the Denver Broncos in Denver at, in the Mile, at, in, uh, Mile High City. I have the Rams over the Bucks. I have the Vikings over the Seahawks. I have the Packers over the 49ers. And I got the Cowboys over the Eagles that Monday night. Um, time to get into my premium bet presented by AvaloCoffee.com. If you have a gambling problem, please call 1-800-GAMBLER. Um, that's, I'm, I'm, I gotta, I gotta give you guys a recap. The first week, I told you guys pick Iowa over Iowa State at plus one seventy. They won. At I told you guys last week, I told to pick the Cowboys over the Chargers at plus one forty five. They won. Now I have another upset pick. Um, I have the Rams over the Bucks at plus one hundred five. So not a, not a big big turnout. So if you bet hundred, you'll win one hundred and five. Your payout will be two hundred and five bucks. I really again going back to what I said in the beginning of the show. The, the Rams are the real deal, holy field. I'm telling you. So that's the bets I'm going to be making. That's, those are my premium bets. Um, make sure you guys check in, tune in to um, Off Night Radio next week for week four NFL picks and some more topics, some more sports. I'm over and I'm out of here, man. See you guys in week four.